Go web go. Fly. Up up and away web. Shazam. Go. Go. Go web go. <laughs> what is up guys i hope you enjoyed that video that is something i did during the quarantine a few months ago and i never put it on youtube for some reason but it was an idea i had for a really long time and i had a lot of fun at doing this video about my appearing cane if you didn't see that i'm gonna put the link up here that was a really fun video because that thing is tremendously dangerous all right guys before we begin don't forget to like and subscribe to this video i was sitting there thinking what else do i have that is just something a magician or someone who gets hired to do something shouldn't have on them at all and get paid to do it and this was another thing here this is called pyro pyro is a contraption uh to say the least it is literally a flamethrower on your wrist and this is why adam wilbur and uh illusionist sold it and he created it he has like a whole series called pyro and i also have the pyro wallet it's something i use all the time at gigs i might do a video on that one too and i'm literally revealing it to you because they reveal it in the trailer and this went extremely viral when it came out i think it's somewhere it's like in the millions of views and selling a legal flamethrower i don't even know how they even <laughs> got away with that this is triggered by a remote here and this isn't really like a flamethrower at all you don't put you're not the dude from x-men what's his name pyro oh, pyro i don't know if he even got it from x-men maybe this thing you literally just load this with a flash cotton ball and flash paper and you hit the receiver you is this off it's empty but you could do you have something in there hit it and shoot yourself in the face you could press this shoes out of here or you could press this have it shoot somewhere else you don't have to put it in your shoe or any, uh, put it in your shoe <laughs> fuck you don't have to put this on your wrist. You could put it on something else. I put it inside of a cup for Instagram video one time. But this, it's really, really cool. It's literally like having a, a web shooter on you. That's exactly what I feel like every time I put it on. It's like a Batman gadget. It's a little, and this is the mini. This is actually the mini one. I, there's a, a original version. I think it's a bit bigger. It's, it's much bigger. And I think it also had four of them four barrels that you loaded this one only has two and like there's different features you can press it to shoot only one barrel or you can hold it and shoot both of them at the same time and honestly i don't know why this is even a magic trick there's really no magic you could do with this thing they do try to teach you a couple of them which are kind of creative but like in the environments that you're in that you're using a gig i would use this for like a stage thing where you could use fire i wouldn't really do this in a walk around setting because you could be performing for like a group of people set it off and you could shoot and like hit somebody with a wool jacket on and you don't want to do that especially because i'm pretty sure a lot of magician magicians that go out and perform they do not have insurance and that's just a fact yeah this thing it's pretty comfortable it's small and this is just something you show to your friends like you just like walk up to them into a party and like shoot them and like it shoots out a ball of fire it burns a little bit the only time i injured myself is with the double barrel the double barrel uh i held it and i burnt right here that was really it it wasn't really like a burnt bad burn it wasn't like a blister it wasn't that I had to go to the hospital or like wrap it and just sting a little bit. So this thing, it's kind of safe. Don't quote me on that. But I I actually bought this from my buddy, uh, Nevin, that's been on the channel a few times. I bought this from him for uh, a discounted price because this is like 150 bucks just to like mess with your friends. And uh, is it worth it? Uh, if you like to mess around with it for a little bit, it's something you're gonna mess around with and never touch again. And I don't know, for me, like I'm a nerd. I like technology. I like this stuff. It's like a gadget. I could do like some type of Spider-Man gag or something. And 
I would literally just do that. I'll just be in my office and just play with this all day. But <laughs> for the average person, they're just gonna mess with it for like five minutes and then just never touch it again. And then they're gonna find it and be like, oh yeah, I forgot about this. How, how do you use this again? <laughs> Yeah, also, yeah, that is it. The reason I've been gone for so long is because my life is starting to get back into order. I've started working again. I've been to the movie theaters twice. I have been going out to dinner. Everything is slowly going back to normal, and thank God, because if we had to go through another shutdown, I, 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 I would lose it. I'm pretty sure most people would lose it. All right, guys, before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. All right, and that's really it. I, I, I yeah, I, <laughs> it's something really fun to play with. I actually, the weird thing is, I don't see this at conventions at all. I think this is something more that normies bought, uh, or layman, normies, layman, same difference, um, that they bought it, brought it to school, immediately got suspended, and then their parents found it and made them throw it away. I thought you would see this at convention, people shooting each other with it and doing all these different things, trying to be flashy, but I'm, I don't know if Andy or the guys who organized Magic Live banned these things, but yeah, that, <laughs> that's it. I, I don't know how to end this video. Gum's getting mintier, have you noticed?